This video goes over vague pronouns, which appear often in writing. A pronoun, as we hopefully know, is a word that takes the place of a noun. Common pronouns, I, we, they, he, she, it, these, those, theirs, who, what, those are common pronouns, there's more. A vague pronoun happens when we're not really sure what the pronoun is referring to. So a pronoun is supposed to refer to an antecedent, and the antecedent is just a fancy word for noun, phrase, or the element of a sentence mentioned earlier that the pronoun is referring to. So when we can't determine what that is, what pronoun, um, what the pronoun is referring to, that becomes a vague pronoun. So often this happens if you're using a pronoun like this, them, they, those at, to, to begin a sentence, but this can also happen throughout the sentence. So I wanna go over some examples of this where we see this happening and then how you might change it. So here's one example. The students were in different classrooms, but they aren't clean. So they here, we're not sure what that refers to, right? Are they saying that the students aren't clean or is the classroom not clean? Like, what is it, right? Which one is clean? Um, so the students are in different classroom, but neither classroom is clean. So here we removed the they and we wrote it without the pronoun so we knew exactly what was being talked about. It can happen um, when we have a number of people in the sentence, same sentence. So like James told Carl that Dr. Smith suspected he had cheated on the math exam. So this he could refer to any of these three. This he could be James. James could have cheated. This could be Carl. Carl could have cheated. Or even Dr. Smith could have cheated, right? So we're not really sure which one it is. And so we need to clarify that. So take your guesses and see which one I picked. Um, James told Carl that Dr. Smith suspected Carl had cheated in the math exam, right? So here we know that it's Carl who had done the cheating. And we wouldn't have known that for sure if we had this sentence. Um, we can also see it again here. After installing a new stereo in my car, I sold it. So what did we sell? Um, you didn't sell the car stereo. We know you didn't. But because the sentence it, it could refer to the car stereo. So it could be I installed the new car stereo, then I took it out and sold it, right? More than likely it's your car, but because it's vague, we're not sure. So we want to again remove this pronoun. After installing a new stereo in my car, I sold the car. Right, so now we're letting people know what we sold. And then, I miss my best friend's 21st birthday, which was really unsupportive of me. So here, it's not just referring to one noun, this which is referring to this whole thing, right? So which is referring to that whole clause, I miss my best friend's 21st birthday. Uh, so the pronoun should refer to one thing, it should be really clear, so we need to change that sentence. I miss my best friend's 21st birthday. My actions were really unsupportive. So this is telling us exactly what happened. My actions were unsupportive. We can change this a number of ways, but this is one example of how you can do that. Another one, by missing my best friend's 21st birthday, comma, I was really unsupportive of her. So again, this is telling you what this witch is referring to, right? So I was unsupportive, I missed the birthday. So we can do it a number of ways. There isn't one, always one way to solve this. You can solve them in many different ways. So there's lots of ways to fix those vague pronouns. I showed you a number. You could combine sentences together and make a single sentence or statement. You could replace the pronoun with the noun. You could change the phrase to eliminate the pronoun. Um, one way you can do this is to circle your pronouns. If you can't draw an arrow to the word that the pronoun is supposed to replace, then you need to clarify it. Um, and try not to start your sentences with pronouns. This is probably the biggest one. Often um, the pronouns become vague because you start a sentence with them. So go through your paper when you're rechecking and if you've started with a pronoun, change that pronoun and use the noun, the specific noun that's taking place. So make sure um, as you're looking through your sentence, you're looking for the ways in which you're using pronouns, if they are clear, if we know exactly who they're talking about, or if they are vague and you need to make some changes.